This time, let's take a look at the terms free time and detention. When transporting by FCL, we often care about free time. This term refers to the length of the time a container can be stored free of charge at the port. You can store a container for an agreed length of free time, for example 7 days to 14 days. There are additional terms to remember in combination with free time, these are demurrage and detention. Let's take a closer look after we explain free time. Free time refers to the length of time a container can be stored free of charge at the port. It is generally a period of 7 to 14 days for dry container. The length of the time can be extended upon request from a freight forwarder. Our company can extend for a period of up to 21 days of free time for Japanese main ports. The length of free time varies depending on the shipping lines. You need to confirm the length of free time available to you when booking your cargo. The length of free time is shorter usually less than 7 days for reefer container, open top container, and flat rack container. Please remember to check this in advance. You might think you should collect a container as soon as it arrives at the port. However, free time is used for the following situations. Time taken to clear customs. When there is no space available to store the cargo at the factory. The time taken to arrange dredge. The port is not a warehouse. Therefore cargo should be collected immediately when there is no issue. However, in general, free time is used when there is an issue. Now, let's take a look at the term demurrage. Demurrage is a storage fee that occurs after the length of free time has been exceeded. As previously mentioned, the port is not a warehouse and the container yard has limited space. Demurrage is used to prevent containers being stored at the port for a long time. Actually, demurrage is not cheap. Here is an example of how demurrage cost can increase in Japan. Day 1 to Day 3, 13,000 yen for 140 fee container daily. Day 4 to Day 6, increase to 25,000 yen per container daily. From Day 7, cost increases to 40,000 yen per container daily. The longer the containers are stored at the port after free time, the higher the demurrage cost will be. Understandably, a shipment of 10 containers will cost you a lot of money. Now, let's take a look at the term detention. Detention is a length of the time allocated for collecting a container from a port, unloading the cargo and returning the empty container to the port. You will incur additional cost if you exceed this time. Containers belong to shipping lines. The system requires all containers to be returned correctly, once finished delivering the cargo. Here is an example of free time and detention calculation method. Free time is 14 days and detention is 7 days. Estimated time of arrival ETA, for the vessel to arrive at the port is May 1st. Container is lit off from the vessel and loaded into the container yard on May 3rd. In this case, free time covers until May 17th. Some countries count free time based on ETA, whilst others start after the vessel arrival which you should confirm in advance. If you collect the container on May 17th, the last day of free time. Detention is counted the day you collect the container, meaning May 24th is the last day. We usually do not have the case that the customer use full detention period, but I hope the description enabled you to understand. Finally, let's take a look at some of the common problems with free time. Customs may be unable to complete their checks during free time. Especially, when importing new products of which you do not have past import experience. There is a potential for essential documentation to be missed. Certain food and chemical products cannot be imported without a specific import permission or license. This can take time to register. Also, if there are any mistakes on the BL, it can take time to amend and demurrage costs may occur. Before exporting a new product, you need to discuss and make arrangements with a freight forwarder to avoid these problems. Don't forget to pay attention to document mistakes such as BL. By now you understand the terms free time, detention, and demurrage. The most important thing is to utilize free time and prevent demurrage occurring. I have been working as a freight forwarder for a long time and I have seen cases which incur demurrage because of problems on product register and documentation, payment issues between a buyer and a seller, 
congestion at a port after a long holiday season. Free time is very important factor within international logistics. Please ensure you check details in advance and are prepared. In this channel, I explain about the technical term and job description in logistics. If you are interested in logistics work, or if you already work in the logistics industry, I believe that this channel will be a good support for your job. If this time video get the good support for your understanding, please subscribe, press good, or comment anything. Well, see you next time.